Hello everyone. Welcome to Study Automation. Have you also faced any problem related to Chrome browser update? And especially once you are using Selenium, once your browser is updating, you have to also update your Chrome web driver. So in this video, I'm going to explain how to fix this problem, Chrome browser upgrade issue, so that you don't need to update your browser in production system. For that, what we will do, we will use Chrome exe and using that Chrome executable, we will use in our Selenium code. So let's start with that. Here I have created basic Java project and if you see our form.xml, it's blank. So what I'll do, I'll start with adding Selenium web driver first selenium uh, dependency here so what i'll do i will write here dependency and then inside this i will use i i I'll go to chrome browser and then write here selenium Maven dependency. Just open the first one and I will use the latest version of Chrome. Then just copy the dependency and paste it inside this. The only thing is, let me check. Dependencies. Just save it. Once you will save, it will start downloading the latest version of Chrome, uh, version of Selenium dependency here in our Eclipse project, and then we can start writing our Selenium code. All right. So here in our Selenium test java file i have written welcome and then we'll try to see if it is working or not just click run and then we can see output welcome now that means java is working we just need to configure we just need to write selenium code so now in selenium code once we start we have to first do is system dot set property and in this set property what exactly we need to do is we need to write here web driver although you don't need to remember this line let me let me show you one trick what you can do here for web driver just start writing normal selenium code so i'll write here web driver equal to new chrome drive and then you just need to open the browser so we'll write here driver dot get and then here I will write let's say https www dot google dot com this is the only code that you need to write to open browser using java selenium and then if I will run here let's see run okay so it's working that means we have changed I mean we don't need to set here chrome driver path since the latest browser latest version of chrome in a in latest version of selenium driver we don't need actually to set the path but if you want you can set here chrome driver path as well and we can download and set it and for that what we can do system dot set property and inside the system dot set property inside system dot set property what we can do we need to pass here key and value right key and value in a string format we have to pass here so key will be here we need to write web driver dot chrome and then dot drive and here we need to paste the path of the chrome driver that we need to download now before going to see that i mean what we need to do we have to also download chrome exe executable file so that it 
it so that we will not use the already available Chrome, but we will use the downloaded version of Chrome. For that, what we can write, we can just write here Chrome Web Driver. So you can just write Chrome Web Driver and it will open a site chrome driver .chromium .org. Just open it and here you will see that it is saying if you are using Chrome version 115 or newer, you need to click on this link. So I will just click here and it will open Chrome, Google Chrome Labs, right? And from here we can download the Chrome as well as Chrome EXE, I mean Chrome EXE and Chrome Drive. So if you will see here, we have one for Chrome for testing availability and then a stable version. So I'll go with a stable version since we are writing code so that our Chrome browser should not update and it should use the existing pointed out EXE file. Here what we need to do, we have two options. One you can see Chrome. So I can download Chrome, let's say Windows 64 bit version. So I just need to copy the URL, copy and paste it in another tab. So what it will do, it will download Chrome. If you will see, it will download Chrome version here. And then, yeah, so let's go to folder, download folder. I'll just do extract. Right. So Chrome is downloaded and you can see we have this exe file Chrome exe so I can use this one I don't need to install I will directly double click here it will give you this warning just click on more info and run it anyway so now Chrome is opened and it is saying Chrome for testing right version 120.0 and basically it is saying for regular browser regular browsing use a standard version of chrome that up updates automatically but this this window uh, this this chrome will not update automatically right it will be the same always so what we can do we have this option chrome we will use this path in our Java code, so I'll just write chrome.exe, let's copy this path, go to our Java project and before going to set this, first let me set chrome exe. So here we have web driver, before that we need to create one more object of chrome option. So I'll write here chrome options and then I'll write here option equal to new chrome options i can create object of chrome options and then using this options dot set binary so we have here one option set binary and then i will choose a string path and here i need to paste the path of our chrome browser exe and then this option I need to then pass it into Chrome Driver. So I'll just write here Chrome Options. This is the only code that we need to write and yeah. So now using this what will happen it will use the downloaded version of Chrome not the already installed one. So let's try here and if I will get any error related to web driver then we need to set this web driver and that that we can also download from here so you can see we have right now downloaded 120.0.6 same we can download here from here chrome, chrome driver right you can see window version window 64 bit and then we can download it just we can do same thing copy paste and then download so better we can download and set it right now only so that in near future, it will not 
give any problem and here we have the location for the driver so i'll just copy this one and we'll paste it here so what we have done we have done two things one is we have also added web driver location and then also we have added chrome browser location from where it can refer now i'll try to run it and let's see so you can see right now it is saying chrome for testing right that means it is not using the existing one whatever thing we have downloaded that version of chrome is being used it is saying chrome is being controlled by automation test software so this way you if you will write your code for your production system your chrome browser will not update and always it will refer to the version of the chrome that you have downloaded this is one way to write the code see you in the next video